Most of the court cases will focus on trigger laws that were designed to go into effect when Roe v. Wade was overturned. The most recent one was today in Louisiana, where a judge issued an order that blocks enforcement of the state's trigger law. NBC 10's Lauren Make explains the fallout and why it all could be a bit confusing in the coming weeks. So this isn't just a rally, this is a call to action. After the Supreme Court's decision on Roe versus Wade, lawmakers, protests, and legal challenges shaping the next phase. I think you're going to see a lot of confusion. Rachel Rabuche is interim dean of Temple University's law school. She says we're in for a complicated legal landscape. I think that there's something to be said for how people are going to navigate that landscape as policies change over time and from state to state. Uh, sometimes city to city, based on what cities are passing in terms of their own uh, uh, powers to investigate, prosecute, or the like. Uh. Trigger laws that kicked in after the Supreme Court decision have already changed abortion access in some states, and legal challenges have been filed in Utah and Louisiana. What kinds of legal challenges could we see now that the Supreme Court has made this decision? You will see challenges to the content of state bans, um, whether or not a state prohibition on abortion should include, for instance, uh, an exception for health, an exception for sexual assault. In Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Delaware, there has been no change to abortion law. In Pennsylvania, where abortion is still safe and legal, we want you all know that we are still here for you. But the future of abortion law in Pennsylvania is uncertain. After the Supreme Court ruling, the House Majority Leader and House Speaker, both Republicans, put out a joint statement that concluded by saying, quote, this ruling presents a necessary opportunity to examine our existing abortion law and discussions around possible changes are already underway. During Governor Tom Wolf's term, he has vetoed legislation restricting abortion access and has promised to continue doing so for the rest of his term, which ends next year, after a new governor is chosen in November. Even though the law is not changing here, the experience of women seeking abortions in this area could change. I spoke today to the medical director of a group of abortion clinics who says that women in other areas where the law has changed may come here for services. How that could impact patients in this area and what staff is doing to prepare coming up at six. I'm Lauren Make, NBC 10 News.